I'm bringing you this title today from a place where absolutely anything is possible. Thank you for joining me. My name is Varney and I am the Tarot Tattler. Thank you for your shares, your likes, your comments and your subscriptions. Thank you for all the ways you are allowing me to grow on this channel. Taurus, I'm getting ready to dive right in there. Almost there. And there you have it. Okay. And your first card out. The closing out of a cycle. Now Taurus, we know this is happening. This is a successful completion, an end of one way of being, and the beginning of a new way entirely. Wow, with the six of water. This talks about soulmates. With the six of water, it's something we might have done in the past. This might be someone we've known in the past. This could be someone from a different lifetime, Taurus. With the Six of Water, it talks about familiarity. This must, might be you hoping that you are able to close out a cycle successfully with family. With the Knight of Water, you are considering where to place your energy, Taurus, in terms of emotional fulfillment, what it is you are going to court, with the High Priestess in your, in your fears, Taurus. This is fearing the intuition that you are receiving. With the Page of Earth, fearing that new beginning, that step forward. Whatever is, it is going to require you to do. Now, Taurus, what you should know is that with the Ten of Earth, we're talking about a cycle that changes in terms of your home, your finances. It tells me that this could be a large sum of money. This is overseas travel, Taurus, in your hidden position. Something that you are creating. This is a product of something you are cre creating in terms of healing your current situation. It might be something you are busy on, something that you are unknowingly allowing you to keep your mind active on, on something other than what else might be going on, Taurus, with the Queen of Earth. This is you, Taurus. This is a queen who has a firm belief and understanding in who she is. She's someone who's prosperous, abundant. And in this card, she is commanding her finances. This could be forming the basis of where it is you are getting out there in the world, Taurus. Wow. And only happiness here. With the sun. Wow, Taurus. Being grounded enough to be able to find that happy space. Being surrounded by happiness. Creating happiness. And this is what touches your soul family. This is your soul path, Taurus. Wow. Another Taurus card. We're talking about tradition. We're talking about everything that came before, the way we think, the things we do, how they shape our current moment with the Hierophant. And the Hierophant, Taurus, refers to you 
with the world. Wow. This is changing a cycle of maybe even long-term commitment. How you perceive your fears, knowing what to do with them, Taurus, with the four of fire. This is your foundations in your current environment. This is a st small step forward towards your foundations. With the four of fire, we're talking about a strong soulmate connection. It's the 1111 card in tarot. This is twin flame energy. Now what you should know, Taurus, this is an epiphany. This is a new understanding, maybe about yourself. Maybe it is you having this understanding about what is in your hidden position. It might be through something you are creating, Taurus. Something that is going to be extremely abundant. Now, in your hidden position. Wow. Remember what I said. It's in your hidden position. So if you don't know about it yet, Taurus, it is about to happen. With the messenger of air in the past, Taurus, there might have been a messenger that delivered some kind of news. It might have been something that is brutal, something that you had to ponder over. It is through that information that you gleaned in the past that you were able to have this epiphany in your current environment. Wow, with the moon, we're talking about the psychic realm. This is talking about illusions. This is being able to find an oasis, the oasis I talk about, Taurus, behind something that is an illusion, through your intuition. This is asking you to pay attention to the information that you are getting, Taurus. Something extremely spectacular is about to take place. With the two of air, you can't see what it is, Taurus. You know that it is coming. You know that a change is in the air. Where it is, you are headed, Taurus. Wow, here's that two of earth again. Balancing more than one thing at the same time. This might be you having to make a choice. Not knowing what choice it is that you're going to make. Taurus... You can never make the wrong choice when it comes to fate and destiny. It is always the right choice. Wow, with the king of air. This could be you sharing a home with the king of air. This could be you choosing. Or this could be the king of air having to make this choice. Now the king of air could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone who has very masculine energy. This is a king who's the source of valuable advice. This is an innovator. He's someone who comes from his mind space and has to rationalize our current happenings, whatever is going on. Now what you should know, Taurus, with the Eight of Air, this talks about requiring some kind of healing in order to move forward. You are going to stay awake at night, Taurus, in order to achieve your foundations, your ten of earth, your legacy. It is only through that healing that is required from that message that was received that you are going to be able to burst forward and change that cycle, Taurus, victoriously. Now, in your outcome, the page of water, that new beginning in love, something that follows that messenger, Taurus, with the tin of air, 
this talks about some kind of despair. Now, if you listen to my last reading, it would have told you exactly why this energy is required. The Ten of Air allows you to be able to find solutions. It's required on our healing path, Taurus. The energy that's balancing you is... This is some kind of creative endeavor, perhaps. Something that is going to require you to work with others, Taurus. Something that you cannot see yet. The energy hasn't accumulated enough for you to be able to see what it is. And what it is. Wow. Here's that legacy. Some, some things are worth the challenges we have to face in life in order to find the stability we require in order to move forward. Wow. You are going to be focused, Taurus. Focused on home. Focused on your legacy. Focused on what it is you are going to want to achieve for yourself. The card under the deck, Taurus is the Ten of Fire. This is not going to be an easy feat. You may feel burdened at times, but look at this card. She does it regardless of how it makes her feel. She does it because this is what she wants to do. I hope you've enjoyed this, Taurus. If you feel that you are being weighed down, know that you have a plan in place. Follow it until your next one. Bye for now.